So, 2019 is finally here. 2018 is over. It was a good year. There was obviously just like every year, there was some rough patches. There were some awesome, awesome parts. And I'm sure everyone has that same part where some bits are good, some bits are bad. And I think pretty much everyone I've talked to is so excited for 2019. And this is why. A new year, even though technically it's not really any different, it's an opportunity for people to focus on new objectives, new goals, and just a time for them to refresh, forget about the things that have happened that are negative, or maybe not forget about them, but learn from them, reflect on them, and then go back and improve this year. That's probably the big thing I'm looking at for this year is just overall improvement of myself, becoming a better person. And with that comes different aspects. So I don't know, uploading more, creating a podcast maybe, being more friendly, being more of a leader, being less negative, all those types of things go into that. Now, resolutions don't really work. Don't think of these as news resolutions, but what I think you should be doing, that's what I've done, we'll see whether it works I guess, is um, just write down things that you're grateful for, for 2018, things that you know, you're happy that have happened, and add to that list things that are negative from last year, but things that you can learn from. So write those negative things down, and then write next to it how you're going to improve on that, or how, how you're going to better yourself in that aspect of your life. So say you've been a bit negative this year or you haven't worked as productively as you like, write that down, write down maybe a specific example of a time where you should have been working but you didn't work as well as you want to. Maybe you've been scrolling through Instagram too much, I know that's a problem I have, YouTube as well. Write those problems down and then write a goal for this year and how you're going to do that. So. Maybe limit social media use. How are you gonna do that? You're going to maybe spend time doing other things or every time you catch yourself on Instagram, write down an action that you can do. Maybe if you start going on Instagram, go and open a job or a book that you have to do. Something that can keep you on task for what you're meant to be doing. That's what I'm doing this year. But first I wanna reflect a little bit on 2018 as a year. Now I'm probably gonna be focusing mostly on my channel for this video because it's probably what's most relevant to you guys but we're, I was pumping out videos and I was getting a great following. Started getting 100 subscribers in a week I think at one point and then we just kept going from there. And the JBL video, oh my goodness, that video is almost at a quarter of a million, million, million views. I don't even know how to like view 250,000 people in my brain. Never seen that many people in one space. So just to think that that many people have watched my video on the headphones, it's ridiculous. The amount of people I've been able to talk to this year, connections, different YouTubers, viewers on my videos, that interaction is awesome and it's definitely something that I want to keep up and focus on in 2019. So what are my goals for this channel this year? Probably I'd like to try and hit 3,000 subscribers, maybe 5,000, we'll see how that goes. It's just a little goal of mine just to keep myself working hard. I'm starting to get constant um, amount of subscribers, so I'm getting subscribers every day but I just need to upload and create content that you guys want to watch so that I can reach out to new people. Since, obviously because of the JBL video, I do not have 250,000 subscribers, 
if I can get more people that watch and discover my videos to subscribe and follow the channel, then that's great because that's really something I want to focus on is audience engagement and them coming back for more. Okay, number two is probably I don't want to have too many large breaks between content. Maybe a few weeks is good, but a few months, six, seven, eight months is unacceptable basically. This year, there was like, I don't know, eight or nine months between one video and the next. That's, it's just not acceptable. And it's purely from me a laziness. I know I've said this before, it's pure laziness. So I'm not going to promise that there's gonna be more videos this year, hopefully though, but I'm not gonna promise anything. It's just a personal goal that I want to create for myself is to become more productive as a worker. Overall, in all, everything I do in life, but this video, video creation is really important. And I think how I'm gonna have to do that is I'm gonna have to start to restructure create more content that I like, which is sort of what the Tech Stuff Under and the Adobe Premiere videos are, which have actually done pretty good in terms of audience interaction. Lots of people love the Adobe Premiere Pro videos because it legitimately helps people. And that's really what I, you know, I like doing that. Anyway, so I've probably ranted on way too long for you guys to even care. Um, but yeah, so I guess thing you can take from this video and if you don't care about me, the person, my channel, if you're just stumbling upon this video, make goals, not resolutions. Goals are measurable and yeah, you're not trying to hold yourself to that. Like, think of a goal that you want at the end of the year. Maybe be a happier person or have fun. Not specific goals like I'm going to lose so-and-so kilos every day or every week. Because as soon as one week fails, you're just gonna be like, stuff the resolution, aren't you? So if you create long-term one-year goals, then you're more likely to work hard and achieve it. So in business, this is called a SMART goal. So you want something that is specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. So maybe, most of these will probably be by the end of the year. By the end of the year, I want to be more productive in the way I work. How am I gonna do that? And how am I going to measure my productivity? So maybe the measurability part of it is I want to only go on social media for a certain amount of time per day and only to interact with my friends, interact with my business, anything like that so yeah thank you guys for watching thank you for 2018 really appreciate anyone that has watched or contributed to my video or just i hope that you had a great 2018 and definitely i hope and i am pretty sure 2019 will be a better year let's hope and the only way it's going to be is if we work hard for it so yeah these goals, everything that you set at the beginning of this year. If you work hard to get there, you'll be a better person by the end of this year, which is, I guess, the main goal always, is to become the best person that we can be, be happy, be positive, everything like that. So, yeah. Thank you, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good 2019.